What's up, y'all, man? King call up, sir, bro. Back with another video. Y'all know how a nigga do. I want to tap in on Tory Lane's lot going live on Instagram, explaining his side of the story. You know what I'm saying? You know, pretty much, he was getting a lot of negative, he was getting a whole lot of negative comments, a lot of laugh emojis, a lot of people, um, you know, making fun of him and stuff like this. I just want to say this, bro. That doesn't mean the Tory Lanez is lying. I wasn't in the car, I wasn't there, so I, I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't know too, but I, you know, obviously people know that I think Tory Lanez is telling the truth more than likely. I believe Tory, I, well no, I, I've already said I believe Tory Lanez is telling the truth. I'm standing on what I say as a man. See, I'm not like everybody else. I don't have to be politically correct and take that back step. I'm gonna stand on what I say. I'm, I believe Tory Lanez is telling the truth. Um, and the fact that everybody laughs at him or makes fun of him or doesn't believe him, that, that doesn't discourage me from believing him. he's telling the truth. Um, a lot of people today aren't real men and women. And when I mean men and women, they don't they don't know how to apologize. They don't know how to admit they're wrong. A lot of people um, assume assume a lot of things in today's time. You know, a lot, people rarely use common sense. People rarely wait for people to explain their side of the story in anything, not just in fa situations about famous people like we're doing right now with um you know what I'm saying pretty much domestic violence among celebrities, but just regular domestic violence situations, whether it be. Um, just um, their next door neighbor having situations with their children, assuming they know what's going on, or I don't know anything. Their, their friend having problems in their marriage and them assuming what's going on, and then just making assumptions. And then after they make themselves look like a make themselves look like a make an ass out of you and me, which is what assumptions do. Make an ass out of you and me. They don't know how to apologize. This is most men and women today. So. And a lot of these people have made these 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 comments on these super public ass platforms. They have a whole lot of followers and, and things like that. So it doesn't shock me that people are standing on um, are not going to apologize for what they say, or nobody's um, going to look into what Tory Lane said because, like I just said, people aren't men and women today. People don't really know how to apologize, and people aren't, aren't accountable for the thing. Don't want to be accountable for the things they say. They just want to say wild shit. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> but that's pretty much mainly the thing I wanted to talk about, bro. That doesn't that doesn't mean Tory Lanez is lying, bro. People don't know how to like look at look at Rick Ross. Made himself look like a straight bozo. And instead of him apologizing to Tory Lanez like a man, he's the one that gives all these speeches about being a man and responsibility and accountability and being a boss and, and financial financial literacy and, you know what I'm saying, protecting our queens and all this bullshit and being a king and protecting our kings and all this bullshit and protecting our children and, you know what I'm saying, and, and motivation and shit like this. But he, he can't even be a man and apologize to Tory Lanez. He has to keep this stupid-ass joke going. The same dude that ended up getting sued, that ended up... Um, that when it came out that he was a he was a goddamn PO, instead of him just admitting it, he had to fight 50 Cent like 50 Cent was lying and all this other bullshit. And then nigga ended up doing having I think doing a sex tape with his mom, some, sex tape with some bullshit. Anyway, Rick Ross he, he met, Rick Ross made himself look like a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? For speaking out of term, he he didn't speak out of term right there. He just made himself look like an idiot. But you had an, another situation between like Birdman and Lil Wayne. What Rick Ross did assume and speak out of term like an idiot and made himself like a bozo. He didn't apologize for that. He ruined his relationship with Birdman. Still hasn't apologized like a man for what he said for getting that man's business. Lil Wayne and Birdman are cool now, so Rick Ross is like an idiot. So, with that being said, bro, all you stupid ass celebrities in the comments making fun of that dude, making fun of that man, laughing. And y'all are adults. Some of y'all actually know him personally and all this bullshit like that. Y'all are just fake, weird-ass people. Y'all have no accountability. Y'all probably the same motherfuckers that have babies by big bullshit-ass niggas, bullshit-ass bitches, and then blame everybody else. So it is what it is, man.